raptor gang and I gotta start training them. The American alligator, very easy to train. Watch this. He's gonna come up, watch. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Chandler's Wildlife. I'm just defrosting some pinky mice. Yeah, just pinky mice really. Little fuzzies. It's a, a good appetizers for my my little babies outside. My little my little raptor gang. I gotta start training them. I got my broad snout caiman, smooth front caiman, and American alligator outside along with the snapping turtle. So I'm actually gonna get all these little frozen thawed pinky mice. And we're gonna go see if my crocodilians are gonna jump up for some food. Oh, gotta get all that. Gotta get all that Stuart little juice out of there. There we go, ring all that. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, we're out here with the animals. I'm just unlocking the enclosures. And I want to show you something really cool. I want to start training my animals. So, one thing that I do with crocodilians is a food call. Depending on what species I'm working with and what I want them to do. For example, the American alligator, very easy to train. Watch this. I do a pop call and he knows that as food. He's going to come up, watch. Did you see that? He was at the bottom sleeping, and now he knows the Look. Come on. He knows it's the food call, because I haven't shown him any food. It's down here in my hand. Take a good look. I'm not luring him over or anything like that. I'm just using my call. No hand signals or anything. Let's try and see if we can go one more time, because the first couple times I didn't have food, so I probably fooled him. Come on. See, the problem is, if I don't give him food, then the call's gonna be nothing to him. So look, he's coming up right now. And he's gonna see the food. You hungry? You want it? Baby, you, no, you being shy? Oh, there he goes, see him? He's gonna jump up. Come on. Come on, oh, come on, work for it. Ugh, good boy. He is such a good alligator. I know you guys hear whining of a dog behind you. That's cause Cherokee's right over here. Well, he's munching on that. Let me show you guys Cherokee. Cherokee, come on dude. This, this enclosure outside is subdivided for Cherokee, so he can come outside when we go out and get groceries and whatnot, so he can be outside and enjoy nature. Because if we leave him in the house, he destroys everything, right? He'd be a destructive doggy. He likes the crocodilians, but we gotta keep a divider, keep him out of there, because he's a naughty doggy. All right, back to the crocodilians. What do we got going on here? Oh, he's munching down. Now, Omar, right here, he's an American alligator, if you guys are new to the channel. And then right there, that's a smooth front caiman, also known as a Schneider's caiman. All right, guys, I'm gonna offer the smooth front caiman off the tongs because he's a really shy eater and I don't wanna intimidate him at all with my hand. Hungry, buddy? Hungry? No? He's really shy, he might not eat in front of you guys. No? All right, then what I'm gonna have to do if he doesn't take it off the tongs, no, nothing. I'm gonna leave it right here on the land, and he always takes it when I leave it right there, so. No, oops, sorry. There we go. He's not too keen on eating in front of you guys, and you can see Omar still <laughs> nomming down on that little pinky. He'll be swollen like, oh, there he goes. Now notice, he's gonna come up to the surface when he's ready to swallow that prey item. Now the only way for a crocodilian to swallow its prey item is to come to the surface of the water and open up his palatal valve. That is the half moon shape in the back of his throat. That's what keeps water from flowing in when he grabs a prey item underwater. So as you can see, Omar's now swallowing his prey as his head's above the surface. He can never swallow a prey item underneath the surface. So some people would say if you were attacked by a crocodilian, shove your fist down the palatal valve to release water down to its throat. But then again, the jaws of many crocodilians are quite powerful, anywhere from a thousand to over three thousand pounds per square inch pressure. We're talking about saltwater crocs, American alligators, the strongest bite forces on the planet. These guys, they grab bone and it shatters. So the best thing to do when it comes to crocodilian attacks is to avoid any body of water that has crocodilians in it. Always read signs, be aware of the situation. Even if you don't see a crocodilian on the surface of the water in a lake, canal, or swamp, they can hold their breath over an hour. Think about that. So stick to swimming pools because you can see the bottom. Okay guys, I'm gonna let them have some privacy. I'm gonna take one more, one more little fuzzy and put it on the land for Mr. Cayman. Mr. Mr. Blue, the smooth front. I'm gonna lock this up. Go. 
And the next feeding video with these guys, I'm gonna be throwing guppies and crayfish in there so they can have some nice enrichment. That's gonna be fun. All right, we all know who's next. My favorite little baby, my little mm, Bruce, the broad snout came in, little Tyrannosaurus Rex. So let's feed him. Come on over close, he's right here underneath the surface of the water. I also want him to become used to the sound of the food call, so I'm gonna make sure I make that call right before I offer him the food so he gets used to it. Obviously now he's not used to it, like Omar the American Alligator, but underneath the water surface, he'll grab that prey out no problem. You hungry? You want it? You want it? Maybe. You're not hungry, buddy? Huh? Not in the mood? I think there's a chance that Will came out here and possibly fed my little babies for me and that's why everybody's a little off from eating yeah he's got a little bit of a belly on him look at him he's such a dinosaur guys I'm gonna put Bruce back in the water and what I'll do is the next feeding video we are gonna throw crayfish and guppies in here and we're gonna watch these guys naturally eat hunt for their food instead of watching them eat little soft meatballs so what we'll do with the rest of what we got right here we're gonna feed the rest of this stuff to the big old snapping turtle down the road so let's do that all right guys, we're gonna feed the rest of this food to Mr. Snapping Turtle, try and get him enticed. You ready, buddy? You ready, buddy? Huh? Come on. Oops, you see him getting ready to snap. All right, we got ourselves a nice little meal for him. Let's get him to work. Woo, come on, come on. Ready? Come on. Oh, good boy. Let's see. There is so much food for you to eat. It's a little buffet, bro. Good thing about Snapping Turtle is when you have a couple snakes that don't end up eating, or you have a couple rodents left over, then this guy's always willing to eat. It's like a little garbage can. Want another one, buddy? Come on, whoa, come on. You gotta work for this one, come on. Look over here, look over here. Oh, 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 come on. Over here, little workout, not gonna hurt you. There we go, little effort, little effort, come on. All right, come on. There we go. Okay, let go. Let go of the tongs. Let go of the tongs. Come on, come on, come on. Let go. Let go. You could, there we go. That's why I use rubber tips instead of metal so they don't bite down onto that. It's not going to feel too good. Good boy. Good snapping turtle. Good snapping turtle. I'm gonna put the rest of these pinkies back in the water, let him eat those. And I'm gonna take Cherokee out of his pen so we can go play. Now, since we're on the topic of crocodilians, I thought it'd be pretty appropriate to show you this awesome clip that I captured about a week ago in South Florida. This is about a nine to 10 foot long American crocodile. She is beautiful and she is hunting right now. Crocodilians prefer to hunt at night. Now what she's doing is she's facing the shore because she's probably studied the local wildlife and realized that possums and raccoons like to come to the water's edge and get a drink. Now what's really cool about this crocodile is that it's in Florida. And in Florida, it's the only place on the planet where you can find alligators and crocodiles coexisting in the same ecosystem. Now American crocodiles can be found all the way from the tip of Florida, throughout the Bahamas, down to Belize, Honduras, Costa Rica, and all the way down to parts of Venezuela and Colombia. Now even though that this animal is found in salt water, it is not a saltwater crocodile. Saltwater crocodiles are from Northern Australia and the Philippines. Their scientific name is Crocodilus porosus, whereas the American crocodile, the individual you're looking at, its name is Crocodilus acutus, only found in the Americas. American crocodiles can get anywhere from 15 to even over 18 feet long. These are modern day dragons. They are dinosaurs. They are incredible animals. They are the coolest things on the planet. That's why I love them. Now I'll see you guys on the next Chandler's Wildlife. Thank you for joining me on this excellent episode. Have a safe one. See you on the next one.